In this tutorial, I am going to use Maxima for some basic matrix operations, which include addition, subtraction, multiplication. So for illustration, I'm going to use uh, the matrices which are appearing on the right there. So the first step, given those are two matrices A and B, I'll enter those matrices. And to enter them, I'll go on top there, here, which says algebra. Then I click here. Then I scroll to where it says enter matrix. And I click on enter matrix. The matrices that we have there, they are two by two. So it is two rows two columns and I'll call the matrix A. And then when I'm done, I click on OK. Now I will enter the entries of the matrix of the A there. It is one, two, and then four, and then a minus three. I press enter, then we have that matrix there. Our A is one, two, four, minus three. And the next step now is to enter the matrix B. So I'll go again where it says algebra here. Repeating the same step, enter matrix, then specify the rows. There are two. Specify the columns. There are two. And uh, this is the matrix B now. Click on enter. Then for the entries of the B, we have a 4, a 3, a 1, and a 7. Then I click on enter. So I have entered uh, those matrices. Now I can now look at uh, those questions of evaluating A plus B. For the first one, the A plus B, I'll just enter A, and then plus B, and then shift enter. We have that A plus B is equals to 5554. Five, five, if you still remember for matrix addition, you'll be adding the corresponding elements. For A minus B, it's just A minus B, then shift enter. So A minus B gives us a minus 3, minus 1, 3, minus 10. So we now go on to question number 3, multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. So that's 3A, we are saying 3 times, then the A. So you put the times which is on the num lock there. So 3 times A, then it gives us shift A. So let me just scroll up. The 3 times A is 3, 6, 12, minus 9. And then on question number four, A times B. For matrix multiplication, we use the dot, and the one that we use as a full stop. So it's A, and then the dot, the full stop, and the B. And this gives us matrix multiplication, the row by column, and I'll press Shift Enter. So that's the product of the two matrices A and B, multiplying the row by column, row by column, matrix multiplication. That's the result there. Remember, we are using a dot instead of the times when, when we are doing matrix multiplication in Maxima. For question number five, we are having B times A. So B, then the dot, the full stop, A. And then shift enter, and the result gives us 16 minus 1, 29 minus 19. Now on question number six, the inverse of the matrix A. For the inverse of the matrix A, you can just type in fat. It's uh, in fat. So we are inverting the matrix A. And I'll press Shift Enter. So the inverse of the matrix A is 3 over 11, 2 over 11, 4 over 11, minus 1 over 11. And then for question number 7, the determinant of uh, the matrix A. So I'll just type in. A determinant, a determinant of the matrix A. So a determinant of the matrix A, shift enter, and it gives us the determinant of A there is a minus 11. For the last question, the transpose of the matrix A. So I'll just say transpose. Transpose, open parenthesis, then the A. And then I press a shift enter. So the transpose of the matrix A, is 1, 4, 2, minus 3. Remember that for the transpose of a matrix, the rows become the columns. The columns become the rows, just interchanging them. So those are just some basic matrix operations uh, when you are using Maxima.